Hi guys, so I cannot say how much I have missed filming, I've missed filming so much. So I know that I've missed my May favourites and I've decided not to do a June, but um, I thought I'd just combine all of my products that I've been loving into one big video, so I apologise if this is quite long, but it has been over like two months that I've been away. So I'm just going to jump in and get started. So the first thing is kind of random, it's my new hairbrush, this is just a... Denman one and it's a big um, paddle brush now my mum was like you don't need another hairbrush hairbrushes don't do anything but seriously when I brush my hair it makes this brush makes my hair feel so soft and so nice and it's just a big back black paddle brush and I really like it so I've been loving that sorry I'm just dropping things on the floor this is um soap and glory flake away I got this this is a mini size I got this Probably a couple of couple of days ago, a couple of weeks ago, and it smells kind of like the signature soap and glory thing, and it's got um, shea butter, sugar, and peach seed body polish. So I've been using this on my legs before I shave, and it makes my legs feel so smooth and so soft, and like any dry skin that I have, I've got any on my elbows, or my feet, or my legs, or anything like that, I just rub it with this. Honestly, it makes my skin feel amazing 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 so i've been loving that um while i'm on sort of hair body stuff um i've been loving the moroccan oil um when i first got this um i got a lot of things as you may have seen my hair care haul video a very long time ago well a while ago um but i got this this is just a mini size how many it's 25 milliliters and i think it was about 12 pounds but seriously, I've not even finished half of it yet and me and my mum use this extremely regularly, like every other day to every day. And I just put it in my palm, rub my palms together and then run my hands through sort of from to my ears down to the roots, the roots to the ends of my hair. Um, and it makes it feel really soft and really nice and I'm going to put that on the floor gently so it doesn't smash. Um, so, I'm going to start with eyeshadows, um, I've been really enjoying this one, this is the Natural Collection um, Duo in Apple Frost, and I've been using the Frost colour, which is this light shimmery colour, and I've been using that all over the lid, and that's been like my kind of latest neutral, and neutral eye, and I've been wearing it with some other eyeshadows, which I'll show you in a minute, but... This, I think it's about £1, £1.99, £1 so really cheap, but really nice colours. I don't use the green as much, but sometimes I use it on the lower lash line, but really nicely pigmented, and that's a brilliant product. So I've also been loving a lot of my MAC colours re recently. This is my MAC palette. So the colours I've been loving a lot, a lot are... Brulee. I've been loving this one as my brow bone highlight. It's like a creamy, milky, really, really nice colour and it's ever so pigmented and it just sort of cleans up under there and makes my brows look more perfected. And then I've also been loving Naked Lunch. I went through a craze, well not a craze, like I went through a time in about sort of the end of May, beginning of June where it was actually really sunny and in the summer I like to wear sort of colours on my eyes to go with the summer and I just feel more summery. So I was wearing this and then I was also wearing Moon's Reflection which was actually my first ever MAC eyeshadow and I actually got it in the pot form but depotted it and this is a Velux Pearl because I took the sticker off the pot and put it on the back. Um, and it's really pigmented and I've been wearing this with, on my lower lash line with a 208 and then wearing Naked Lunch on the lid. Um, I've been loving Era. This has been my everyday crease colour that I go to for a while but I've just never really mentioned it like because I think it's just something that I automatically do that it doesn't jump out to me as a favourite but this month it's just I've just realised how much I use it and it's a really nice colour. It's not matte, but it's not like crazy shimmery, which I like. So that's my everyday crease colour. And then I've also been wearing Cork. Now, this isn't an eyeshadow that I usually reach for, but recently, like today, I've used um, Frost from Natural Collection on the lid and then Era in the crease. 
and then I've been using this in the outer V and it just really provides that beautiful neutral eye which just looks so simple and so elegant and yet so perfect so I've been loving that so those are all my MAC eyeshadows I'm thinking of getting another one um another eyeshadow that is not another palette um but I'm not sure yet so sticking to eyes this is the Max Factor False Lash Effect um, Mascara and this is the waterproof version and it says full lashes natural look and I completely agree it makes my lashes look very voluminous but it doesn't like clump them together I mean I always have problems like a tiny bit more clumping on this side than this side just because that's how my eyelashes are they're weird they're uneven they don't do what I want um, but just run through it with an eyelash brush then it sorts it out but I love this it keeps it holds a curl amazingly which is something I really look for in a mascara so I've been loving that and then um, on as an eyeshadow base I've been using my Urban Decay Primer Potion everyone knows this everyone's seen this everyone knows that it's amazing and so do I I love it so I've been using that loads and then moving on to face products I think I have two face products I'll show you the one that won't be a surprise this is my sleek face contour kit in light I've not been using the bronzer as much but I probably will when I go to America but I have been using the highlighter it's my go-to highlighter in fairness it's the only highlighter I own but it's still the one I reach for because I love it every single day um, I'm actually thinking of getting a liquid highlighter so if you have any highlighters that you absolutely enjoy then please leave them as a comment down below and then this is a blush that I've been loving. This is the Natural Collection Blush in Pink Cloud. And I really like this. It's a very easy to wear colour. Um, I feel like it would suit a lot of skin types. As you can see, I've hit pan on it. I've had this for... I've had this probably for a good year or so. And I know you meant to throw products out, but I don't like wasting things. I'm going to use this up until I finish it. I think it's about $1.99 or slightly less so really really cheap the packaging is really simple really easy doesn't break and it's really pigmented and just a beautiful color so i'll move on to lips now so i have four lip products i'm going to start with this one this is a very recent purchase for me like the other day or something but i excuse me i saw beauty crush wears a lot of the nyx matte lip creams and I was just looking online and I heard that these Collection 2000 Cream Puffs were kind of like a dupe for them. Um, so I got the one in Fairy Cake and it says Velvety Soft Matte Finish Lip Cream. I love this. It's amazing. It's so pigmented and it's kind of like this really nice pinky, corally colour and it's amazing for the summer. Um, although it's matte it's not drying whatsoever um as long as you put like a lip balm under it then it i've had no problem staying power it stays until you eat but then when you eat it does sort of disappear a bit but that's fine i'm really not bothered about that so that's the collection 2000 cream puff in fairy cake and then you won't be surprised to see this i love this this is the 17 supreme shine lipstick in barely blush I love this, this is my everyday, if I can't think of what lipstick to wear then I just go right I'll wear this, it's kind of like I hate the phrase but the my lips but better colour and it's really really nice, I'm actually using quite a lot of it but it's quite cheap so it's fine, and, oops and then another lipstick that I picked up and showed probably my last haul is the Revlon, this is the Colour Burst Lipstick in 075 Peach and I actually mistook this in fairness for Smoked Peach which I think is a slightly different formula or something but I really like this, it's kind of like an orange colour and it's not really coral, it's more sort of muted orange but I have really liked this when I was wearing Naked Lunch and Mood Reflection sort of like a summery look I often wore this because the oranges and the blues go really nice together and bring out my eyes and yeah so this is kind of like a satin finish it's it's not 
glossy but it's not matte matte it's kind of in the middle which is really really nice and I love that and then my final lip product is this Barry M lip gloss and this is in the colour well it says 11 on the bottom but on the website it says 11 coral so this is coral and Pixie Chew or Tanya Burr talks about this all the time and I went into Boots and I was like oh I'll just swatch it on my hand it's gorgeous it's such a pretty colour I have it on today it's kind of like this pinky corally bubblegum colour the smell it smells like candy and strawberries and so many good things in one little tube and whenever I apply it everyone's like mmm what's that smell and it's like it's this and um, I've really been loving this it's a not sticky at all and it lasts really well for a gloss so I've been loving that to set my makeup I've been using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray I bought this especially for my prom which is coming up in like two weeks time which is crazy um, but it really does hold everything in place all day um, when I wear concealer often around my nose because I get quite red around there um, I usually like just I'll come home and I'll be like where's all my makeup gone but I sound like an advertisement where's all my makeup gone and then I got this um, but yeah seriously this really does help and you get 118 millilitres and this was £19 I'm tempted to say and I got it from Demonyms. and then moving on to brushes I only have three brushes not that I've not been loving any of my others but these have been really stand out for me so I've been using the Real Techniques buffing brush now when I first got this in the core collection I wasn't like wow I need to use this every day but I've actually been using this for powder and I find that it gives me a really sort of flawless finish and if I don't really want to wear much makeup then if I just buff some powder all over my skin then it just sort of helps to even out everything and makes you look sort of more perfected than just um, a naked face so I've been loving that and the brushes, brush, brushes? bristles are so soft I said to my mum in the shop, they're softer than my cat, and she felt them, she was like, yep, they are. <laughs> and then um, these two brushes I've been using for eyes. This one is the Marks and Spencers, it says lip brush, I don't know if you can buy this on its own. This came in a set that my grandparents got me, and I've actually been using this for um, to put cork in the outer V. I just sort of place it in and then blend it out. But this is really useful for getting it exactly where you want it and very precise. And then this is my number 7 eyeshadow blending contour brush. Now I've not seen the MAC 1, no 217 I think it is. Um, but I hear that it's quite comparable to that. The bristles are really soft and it's really nice that I use this in my crease with era every single day without fail. And it's not shredded feels really nice and I think it was about I think it was about nine pounds but then I used one of my five pound off vouchers so I got it for about four pounds or something like that so with those five pound vouchers they're really really good so that is all my products I was just storing them in this little box here um I hope you've enjoyed this video I have a lot of exciting news to tell you so I'll probably do a vlog just now um about all of that um which i just want to blurt out now but anyway i'm going to go i hope you're having an amazing day please leave a comment down below for if you have a favorite highlighter um whether that's liquid or cream and i'll see you all again soon bye